when do you communicate and when do you over communicate i would say when in doubt over communicate welcome back to my thursday video series where i share examples for you to use at work to make your messaging sticky sarina walker was the founder and ceo of infinity edge software till the company was taken over in 2016 a few years before that she had taken over the leadership of a combined team of engineers and creative folks for a new project she had a deep well of experience leading technical teams where her minimalistic management approach had worked for her for years so when it came to the hybrid team she said i figured the non techies had some understanding of our technical teams processes and knew how we work by virtue of the fact that we share offices so the shared office osmosis should work when the project got underway however resentments festered sarina says my technical team didn't have a problem getting into a room and talking about what was going well and what was it but this standard tactic of identifying improvement areas with her engineers felt like a blame game for the creative members they felt they were thrown into this process it was like being invited into a firing squad and soon she was having difficulty even getting everyone to attend the weekly status meetings as a result the project started off the exact way you hope it never does with a lot of frustration a lot of animosity does this sound familiar well sarina went on and recognized that her failure to establish communication norms was partly to blame she hadn't made the purpose of the status meetings clear she hadn't explained that her agenda was not aimed at criticizing but at getting everyone on the same page so i had to do something that i had never done before over communicate sarina says she sat down with both the groups to go over the purpose of the meetings how she expected them to be run while addressing each group's concerns the extra work really paid off the project completed on deadline and the creative members reported that they felt that the process had been a valuable learning experience Sarina says even though i had to over communicate it was well worth it because the next project is going to go so much smoother so it was almost like as if it was a feed forward for the project and the team now where at work can you use this example it would be a great example to share when you're putting diverse teams together to work on a project you could start the first meeting by acknowledging that different teams might have different norms and understandings and share this example and say that you want to avoid the situation and let's all work towards establishing common norms for the project has something like this happened in your organization and what did you do that made it work well there do share in the comments or please reach out to me via a message i'd love to hear from you 